Hey guys, my name is Rob and welcome to the Retro Modern Gaming Channel. You might be wondering right now, why is my PlayStation 4 hooked up to this old school CRT TV instead of my flat screen back here? Well, this is what the channel's all about. Combining the new with the old, the modern with the retro. Pretty much for the series, um, we're gonna be playing modern games on an old school display, just for fun, just to see what it's like and just to get that nostalgic effect. The first game we're going to be playing for the first episode of the series is one that just came out a week ago. It's a remake. I'm very excited to play this. I haven't popped it in yet. I just put it in the PS4 today so it could um, do its updates and download or whatever. And that game is Mafia, the Definitive Edition. I played this game many, many years ago for the PS2 when I was younger. Even though I you know, wasn't of age to play it, it was fun. I loved it. So... We're going to see if this remake holds up to the original, which I'm sure it does. And um, it's going to be great. If you do like this video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, click that bell so you can get notifications on new videos. And also drop a comment on what game you'd like to see played on this old display. Enjoy. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts, when I first met Polly and Sam. Sure, 
this long unless we're back on our own turf. Let's get back to the neighborhood. Compensation for your services, any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Solieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. The scratches on your car, you swerved to keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? Of course. See you around, kid. Thanks. At least we could do. Come on. Let's 
Let's go say hi to the Don. Don Silieri? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him on account of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi, that's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm going to set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morello's girls hang out at a bar of yours. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. We'll smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's the new guy? He's a cabbie. We're helping him out. He's gonna drive the boss? Cocktails here. 
Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn up your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Todd. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten them out. Come back and see me later if the boys don't scare you away. I'll fix you with a gap. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this war gets anxious to her. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Some lazy bastards. The 
put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cards. And a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Hey, go quiet. You know how Most to go quiet, right? Yeah, like that. Yeah, he's got his main guys. You'll get there someday. No one sees our heads. No one tries to... Gate and a part of their roof. I'll go keep their chunk busy while you creep up and jump from behind. You are good at distracting. It's the best thing here. Ah, the boss gets plenty of guys in this city real pissed. Excellent. Careful. I get the money on that. Ah, he's good for it.
do it with you then. So, Mom, yeah. Hey, really, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morello is a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. Got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was ace the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room... They're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me. You're going to be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. Barman Luigi is not much of a cook, but his daughter Sarah, Maron. I move crates, delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly we just waited. I got to thinking. Maybe life in Cillieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. <laughs> I'm getting it. You, Tommy? Come on, this dude yeah. has in your pipe. Get Boss is waiting for you. <laughs> yes. Here he is. Sorry, I'm late. Take a seat. And it's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be a routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. We'll make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss.
Oh, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Nah, you didn't get me. 
<laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his J. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far. Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's Motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Barolo? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit, and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. But well, happy to oblige. Okay, there it is. Finally. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. out there.
Sam. They really went to work on you, buddy. Christ. Come on. You'll be all right. You're tough as nails.
Tommy! There's <laughs> our winner! Hey, Tom, just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now, if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when we get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You ain't us all a lot of money today. Emerald's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing some red boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and horse. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my ma a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got lucky, so. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy, Polly. He's so drunk, he's going to get hit by your parked car. Yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. <laughs>